In 1983, when German-born designer Karl Lagerfeld joined the House of Chanel, he changed the course of fashion history. When I took it over, it was before the date of everything could be revived. Then people said, don't touch it, it will not work. But I knew it could work because there was a power and a possibility and a number of elements and the idea of a modernity, what maybe was not the most modern thing in the middle 60s, 70s, but what I could turn back into fashion later and I felt that because the people who own it and who run it had the right spirit and were open-minded and ready for that. To this day, the house is owned and controlled by the famously fresh shy Wertheimer brothers, grandsons of one of Coco's early partners. They didn't want it to die in respect, they wanted to know nothing from the past, they wanted the future with the element of the past, what is or what stands for known under the name of Chanel. Despite initial criticism, Lagerfeld returned the Chanel label to the peak of high fashion. He produced endless, innovative variations on Chanel's iconic signatures, continuing as Coco herself did to hold up a mirror to our times. In a way, the Chanel jacket today, the real one or a fake one, is like a t-shirt or a jean or a pair of sneakers. It's really a basic fashion item, and I mean, there are very few of them. So I think that's extremely flattering. And what I like best about Chanel today is, what I think is the most flattering achievement in a way, that girls who are 15 wear, and women who are their grandmother wear too. It's the only one you can play with, it's not a boring you know, it goes with a lot of things. Before Lagerfeld, Chanel was a venerable name for society matrons. Since Lagerfeld, Chanel became the status item for fashionistas around the world. I think what's interesting is to show that a fashion label can exist for 100 years and stay trendy. It means there is something what can go with the idea of the modern woman of every decade. You have to update things for the time we are living in, so that's not changing. That is a healthy evolution, if not it's dead. Visit the legendary House of Chanel, established in 1910 by Gabrielle Chanel. Today, this billion-dollar empire continues to create her signature accessories, the quilted handbags with shoulder chains and the fabled Chanel No. 5 perfumes. Chanel woman's wear still reflects her dedication to perfection, from the trademark two-tone shoes to her best-remembered simple suits. Today, Chanel's style lives on, revitalized by Karl Lagerfeld for the spirited 80s. Born Gabrielle Chanel in 1883, she became known as the legendary Coco. She revolutionized fashion with her own distinctive style. Coco Chanel was, was born in the last century and grew up wearing corsets, long clothes, uh, what we think of as historical costume. She created modern fashion for modern women because she was in herself a modern woman. She did something tremendous. Um, she uh, took away the conventional side of fashion. She uh, liberated completely the fashion, really. Her liberation of fashion began with the philosophy of comfort in dressing. And even though she was born in an era of restrictive fashion, Coco envied the practical ease of the man's wardrobe and translated that ease into her best-known cardigan suits of wool jersey that were comfortable and soon to become stylish. Her influence is still felt by designers today. Chanel has always been, you know, obviously really someone that I've admired. I think Chanel, absolutely. Because she gives simplicity to women, and the woman, they always look so beautiful, so feminine, with a very simple suit, a very simple dress. Coco Chanel has become a legend for her impeccable taste, wit, and personal style. She surrounds